Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making this simple beaded pencil. And what you're going to need is five colors of beads. I'm going to be using this neon pink for the eraser. Uh, this gray for the, the, the metal part, uh, this yellow for the main pencil body, and then I have a light pink because I would have used a, like a tan color if I had one, but I don't, so I'm just going to be using light pink, and as you see that works pretty well. And then black for the lead or graphite, whatever. So, and you need something to hold your bead in. Um, I have these little bead containers. You can also use a watercolor tray. You will also need scissors to cut your wire and a ruler to measure your wire. And finally, 28 gauge wire. This is black copper wire. It's really good wire. I got it on firemountainjumps.com. And that is all the things we'll need. So let's get started in making our pencil. All right, so start by cutting off 15 inches of 28 gauge wire. And for the bead count, you will need 12 pink beads or eraser beads. Four metal beads. This little metal part, I'm just gonna call them metal beads even though they're not metal. Um, for the main body of the pencil, you'll need 20 beads. For the wooden part of the pencil, you'll need 13 beads. And for the lead tip, you'll need, you'll need three beads. And yeah, so let's get those beads sorted out and start beading. All right, so I did get my watering, er, water. All right, so I did get my watercolor tray out. And yeah, so I have all the sep colors separated out into the beads we need. And yeah, so let's start beading. So first take your 15 inch piece of 28 gauge wire. I might roll mine up, so I'm just gonna straighten it out and meet the two ends together and bring your finger all the way down until it um, folds in half. All right, so meet in the middle. And now you're gonna get four of your pink beads, your eraser beads. And put them on your way. Oops. One, two, And now try and get them in the middle and just hold them with your fingers, bring one side around and pull them through all four of your beads. There. And now hold them in place, make sure they stay in that center point and pull tight. And now you can check to see if it is centered enough, and I think it is. And you can flatten down that wire. Now, uh, get another four pink beads. Put them on your wire. Bring them down. And now whatever wire is opposite the wire you have your beads on, bring it over and stick it through all of your beads. And pull tight. Now we're gonna do this again, four beads again. This will be the last eraser row. I can zoom in when I do this. One. 
three and four. Oops, it's a little blurry. Now go all the way down, fold it, bring your other wire, and stick it through your beads. Just like that. All right, now we can do our metal row. So now get your four gray beads and stick them on your wire. Bring them down. Bend them across and put the wire that's opposite your beads through your beads. So it should look like this. And now we're going to move on to the main body, which is in yellow this time. So, as you can probably guess, we're going to take four yellow beads and stick them on your wire. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to bring them down, bend them across, and do the same process. And pull tight. Now we're going to do this again. Take four beads, put them on your wire. One, two, three, four. There we go. Bring them down, bend them across, and put your wire through those four beads. And now we're going to do this, I think, three more times. I'm just going to do it at normal speed so you don't have to pause the video. I mean, you might pause the video, I mean, if you want. There we go. There's one more row. And you're just gonna repeat this till all of your yellow beads are gone. Last row. And there we go. Now we're going to move on to the wooden part, which is the pale pink beads and the first two rows, we are going to put four beads on just like we did with the other rows. So, one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to do that again. And now this row, we're going to start tapering it down. So we're going to put three beads on, just three. And 
And now we're going to do two. And that will be all, our last two pink beads. They're light pink beads. It's like a pearl, pearly pink. And we're almost done now. We are going to do the um, lead beads. So first put two of these on. There we go. And now we're gonna put our last bead on. And there you go. And you can adjust this however much you want. And now we're going to um, trim the wire, um, but first we're going to kind of secure it. Okay, now we're going to bring this wire around and through the top bead. I can, I'm going to do that again with this one. It comes around and through this bead. Just like that. Now pull it through. And now bring these together and twist. I'm sorry for the banging in the background. Uh, it's a hammer. <sighs> so yeah, sorry if that is annoying you. All right, now we can trim this wire like that. And there you have your pencil. And it's actually very, very simple and it didn't take a long time. I, mean, you, I guess you can kind of like bend down a little excess thing. But yeah, there's your pencil. Here are them side by side. Um, and I guess this goes along with the st uh, back to school, I guess. Even though school began a while ago. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And I hope it was easy to follow. Um, this is actually a shorter video than my other ones. But, yeah, if you like these videos, make sure to like them and subscribe so I can uh, do more videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.